Hey guys, this is Cyber Made Simple, Sinister Cyber. Let's get into it. Imagine waking up one day to find out that a major space research organization has been the target of a sophisticated cyber attack. Sounds like a plot straight out of a sci-fi movie, right? Well, it happened. The Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, fell victim to a cyber attack that sent shockwaves through the cybersecurity community. <laughs> Let's dive into the details of what happened. In 2019, ISRO was at the pinnacle of its achievements, gearing up for the launch of its second lunar exploration mission, Chandrayaan-2. But just as the excitement was building, the organization faced an unexpected setback. Cyber attackers had infiltrated their network, and this wasn't your run-of-the-mill attack. It was a highly sophisticated operation. So how did these cyber criminals manage to breach such a high-profile target? The attackers used a malware called DRAC, believed to be linked to the infamous Lazarus Group, a North Korean cybercrime outfit. DRAC is a type of spyware that can infiltrate systems, steal sensitive data, and even control infected machines remotely. The hackers used this malware to gain access to ISRO's systems and potentially steal valuable information. Let's break down the mechanics of DRAC to understand how dangerous it is. DRAC operates by embedding itself into a network through a seemingly innocuous entry point. Once inside, it scans for sensitive data including files and passwords and sends this information back to the attackers. What makes DRAC particularly insidious is its ability to remain hidden, avoiding detection by traditional antivirus programs. This stealth capability allows it to operate undetected for extended periods, causing significant damage before it is discovered. You might be wondering, how did this malware get into ISRO's network in the first place? The most likely method was through spear phishing emails. These are highly targeted and personalized emails designed to trick specific individuals into clicking on malicious links or downloading infected attachments. Once the malware was inside, it could spread through the network, compromising more systems. In spear phishing, attackers often spend considerable time researching their targets to craft convincing messages that appear legitimate increasing the likelihood of successful infiltration. But what exactly did the attackers gain from this breach? While the full extent of the damage is not publicly known, it's believed that the attackers were after critical information related to ISRO's space missions. This could include mission plans, satellite data, or even proprietary technology. Such information could be invaluable to rival nations or malicious entities looking to disrupt space exploration efforts. The potential theft of this data represents not just a loss of intellectual property, but a direct threat to national security and scientific progress. Let's take a step back and think about the broader implications of this attack. Cyber attacks on space organizations are particularly alarming because they can have far-reaching consequences. It's not just about stealing data, it's about undermining a nation's technological capabilities and potentially compromising national security. If sensitive information about space missions falls into the wrong hands, it could be used to sabotage future missions or develop countermeasures against satellites and other space assets. This could lead to delays in space missions, loss of expensive equipment, and setbacks in scientific research. Consider the ripple effects of such an attack. Space missions are often collaborative efforts involving multiple countries and organizations. A cyber attack on one part of this network can have cascading effects disrupting international partnerships and delaying critical projects. Moreover, the trust between collaborating entities can be severely damaged, leading to increased security measures and a more fragmented approach to space exploration. So, what lessons can we learn from the ISRO attack? First and foremost, even the most advanced organizations are not immune to cyber threats. It's a stark reminder that cybersecurity must be a top priority, especially for institutions dealing with critical and sensitive information. Regular security audits, employee training on recognizing phishing attempts, and robust incident response plans are essential. Additionally, the attack highlights the need for advanced threat detection systems that can identify and mitigate sophisticated malware like TRAC. Moreover, international cooperation is crucial. Cyber threats are a global issue, and tackling them requires collaboration between nations, organizations, and cybersecurity experts. Sharing threat intelligence, best practices, and technological advancements can help build a stronger defense against such attacks. 
This collective effort can also lead to the development of international standards and protocols for cybersecurity and space exploration. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think can be done to improve the cybersecurity of space organizations? Have you ever encountered a spear phishing attempt? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, stay safe, stay secure, and keep looking up at the stars.